Five lights now. It's a long wait. FSA gets a drive through penalty for jump start, and we are on the way. Dark with a very slow start. With Zafso already in front of everyone before even the turn one of the source. Start. With Zafso already in front of everyone before even the turn one of the source. It's all squirrely down into turn one. Look at the pile up of cars. Five, six, seven cars. Not even on the track anymore. And Aston Martin team. Then who are the Aston Martin bosses? He'd be slamming some Bose headphones down there because both his drivers are out. Both. And I think we will see a lot of front wing changes. Yeah, exactly. Everyone changing their front wing. As yeah, to be expected. Yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, that makes pit, cheap pit stop. I mean, people they have to take the pit stop from Tim F1. They've got dark behind him. He's about to the lad pedal. And you said, why does it always rain in the tier three? Because you have Bickles here, my friend. Panama. It rains all the time. Saf is off. Let's go. Green flag. Saf's on down. Oh, the camel straight in into the car. But he's looking here. Vasi is taking the outside line. Sometimes maybe the even superior line. And Villa doesn't make the move stick too much. And Villa doesn't make the move stick too much. Goes off track. And it's Olga Squally and Tim spins. Tim spins by contact of Max O'Connor. That is horrible. And Max O'Connor now pushing down Villa as well. Down the field. Not having any end plates left on his car. And um, yeah, these currently. conditions talk to race control. They're not turning DRS on. I can tell you what, somebody's putting a bit of pressure on TJD. This is not only local yellow for Vessi, I think, but keep an eye on that. Battle P13, P14. Yeah, I think that was a little spin, but don't be too brave because otherwise it's very easy to lock up in these tricky conditions. And if you lock up, you're just going to straight up miss the corner and maybe lose more positions than you would gain. So one point, but goes very wide, had a snap of oversteer, and that is then Nicholas Swan overtaking Hayden Gillis into, what was it? Yeah, out of Lecombe's and into Brussels, leads in front of Hayden. Look at Magic Ferrari at the moment, how he's handling this... Uh a bit of pressure because you can see dark up the road and you can also see the race leader of course there from Seth. Because yeah, it's but... all about traction now down into a rouge and down Radion. It's going to be very tight. TJD packs out probably the wiser move. You live longer not faster. Yeah, hey, you had to lift at the, the hospital. You can go side by side but not in these conditions. There's just not too much grip around. As you see with Driver DMB, just the amount of undersea you get through the fast high speed corners. Now on Max O'Connor, he lifts through Blanchimon. Is he brave enough to go for it into the boss of Chicane? He is. Max O'Connor leaves the space, a little bit of contact, but that compromises him for the second part of the boss of Chicane. As a snap of oversee and that. Robbing is driving, isn't it? Robbing is grinding. That's how it works, but this is what it is. I eat a 22. <laughs> Drive DB, 15 places gained. He wants 16 gained. <laughs> Whoever stays in the right now is a gold, gold strategy. So that would be some idiot then. Some idiot still not pitting. Doesn't think the track is ready just yet. He, he's the only. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand why he would do that. The last times I saw before. But quite good. And he's pitting onto soft. On favor or not but nobody now has decided to take the gamble you wonder what jeff has fired from the new 2022 game he's too good for now safso did good on the first one let's see how he manages the second one it was very late but that catches out dark uh gearbox already peruna in p4 max o'connor and sandy bag already fighting for position max o'connor overtaking sandy baggy just before you're on into your rouge and now ready on Sandbagging has using a lot of his battery power. Some idiot covers it off into the bus of Chicane, but then gives Nicholas Swan a chance. One, but I think Hayden's on a bit of pressure there from Nicholas there in the Merck. Thinking uh, I will give him some total look on his headphones, Mr. Ferrari driver. And you back up a little bit through a rouge. Absolutely not. It doesn't look like even wet. And I hope you saw the race control. DRS is enabled. Opens the big rear wing and just blasts down Hayden Gillis, and that is down P7 for Nicholas Wall.
Yep, race control has enabled the DRS, so it's not the real F1. Currently F1. That's an nine killers, lap 14. On the all. Dark's gone. Dark has gone. What's happened to Dark? He spun. He has spun out of uh, Brussels. Again, another victim to Brussels. Quick. And I can tell that much, it will be a sprint race to the finish line. Everyone will probably... Oh, wait. Another safety car. Will they? Will... Yeah. I'm showing thunderstorms in about 30 minutes. I mean, it is a interesting Belgian Grand Prix. That is for 17 to 18. So that means to me, as you know there, Mark, you're going to get you're gonna have two laps without the DRS. Yeah, we'll probably start racing on lap 18. That means it looks like even a run there from the Haas. Gone, done. Killed his teammate. Good <laughs> there as well too. And um, before they even get to another battle, and like Nicholas Swan, well. sorry, yeah. Nicholas Swan with the double overtake into not a double overtake. He throws it all away. That's an offense uh, overtake by Vernon. Unfortunately, for it's going to be great battles occurring back there. You can see. The, dark, the time delta, the interview gaps of how much those soft tires and mediums are playing a massive difference here already in this race when we have four left to go. And then once they are all up in front, then they can maybe start to fight each other. Because Do you see it work together went... at the moment? My friend uh -huh. has getting away around the finale. Uh, anybody to go through there, probably even kill each other at the moment. Don't be careful, they have! They've almost taken each other out there. Veronica's son is in the air on the outside there. Oh, he has. He has done it. That's a bad call there. I would not have a great call. 19 to 22. And they play, they're making places left, right, and center. This is called Formula 1. Oh, it's Andy Baggy spun. Overtakes Hayden Gillis and Max O'Connor. Or overtakes Hayden Gillis. Max O'Connor then in P5 or back in P5. But goes really deep now. Hayden Gillis. Same strategy, same cars. But skill can save all the Marking gets him into Lacombe, Ferrari into P1. And that has to look back again to Max O'Connor, who has been overtaken by, Mac by Angulus. Angulus has to give up the place, not in any position to take Brussels as good as he can into no name. Max O'Connor still leads down into Raven off and go down the inside. He is Max O'Connor, blocks the middle of the racetrack. And Max O'Connor knocking on Angulus' back door. Telling him, come on, Hayden, I want to overtake. Look at the overspeed he has, but is it maybe a bit too far back for Max O'Connor to do anything? Or Max Duke, I should rather say, to do anything. Down the camel straight, the battle of the Max as Tim goes for the move down into the Lecomte for TJD in P4. No penalties between these gladiators, Hayden on Dalp and P5. This is it. Guess what, guys? Don't go Tim, yeah, and Tim going for action. And Peruna! Bruno down into a rouge into P1 and what has happened to Mark Marking is all out of shape. But that should give Sasha Sasha. Oh, Bruno, you've done it, my friend. You've got that gold mine of the Belgium Grand Prix. Spa is in your pocket. Congratulations. And further down, Hayden Gullison finishes in P4, but gets relegated down in P5. Back the victory here for the PPR Tier 3. You are a victor and you've got the Spa of all spas race victory.